Hey guys, it's the end of the year for 2023, and I want to take a look back at this week's winning stocks over the last two months, or actually from November 13th up until the end of the month, or the end of the year, December 31st. So the last two months, we want to look at the stocks that were mentioned to keep an eye on for that week of November 13th. And we're starting off with, and I, I know that some people have short attention spans, so the ones with the bigger moves I put to the front of this video to keep attention. So we're starting with Ulta Beauty. And when Ulta Beauty was mentioned, it was at $409.27. That was in November. By the end of December, Ulta Beauty was at $489.99. A gain of $80.72 a share. Next, we have Waters Corporation. Waters Corporation was mentioned at $261.88. And here we are at the end of December. Waters Corporation moved up to $329.23. That's a gain of $67.35 a share. <laughs> Now, we should be aware that in the after hours, it is showing that Waters Corporation is going to drop by $51 when markets open back up on Tuesday because they're closed this Monday because of New Year's. But it's going to drop $51.35. But with the stock making a gain of $67.35, even if it does drop by this much on Tuesday, because a lot of times these gaps are eaten up by the time the weekend finishes, but even if it does drop by $51, it's still a small gain over what we caught it at which was 261.88. It still won't go down to that level. Our next one is Thermo Fisher Scientific. When we mentioned this stock, it was at $466.42. And here it is two months later. At $530.79. That's a gain of $64.37. Next, we have Goldman Sachs. Goldman Sachs was at $339.19 when we mentioned it. Now it has moved up to $385.77. That's a gain of $46.58. Paycom. Paycom was at $177.50 when we mentioned it after it took the significant drop. Now it's up to $206.72 for a gain of $29.22. We have Keysight Technologies. Keysight Technologies was at $133 at 18 cents when we mentioned it. Now it's moved up to $159.09 for a 
for a gain of $25.91. We have Agilent Technology. They were at $113.15 when we mentioned them. And now they've moved up to $139.03 for a gain of $25.88 a share. We have Norfolk Southern Corporation. They were at $211.04. Now they've moved up to $236.38 for a gain of $25.34. We had PMT Financial. They were at $130.26 a share. Now they've moved up to $154.85 a share for a gain of $24.59 a share. We had Middleby Corporation. They were at $124.78 a share. Now they've moved up to $147.17 a share for a gain of $22.39. We had Valmont Industries at $213.32 a share. Now they've moved up to $233.51 a share for a gain of $20.19 a share. We had Dollar General at $121.11 a share. Now they've moved up to $135.95 a share for a gain of $14.84 a share. We had Hibbit Inc. $53.48 a share. Now they've moved up to $72.02 a share for a gain of $18.54 a share. We had Target Corporation at $129.89 a share. Now they've moved up to $142.42 a share for a gain of $12.53 a share. We had Sensi and Technologies at $60.74 a share. Now they've moved up to $66 a share for a gain of $5.26 a share. We had Kraft Heinz for $33.66 a share. Now they've moved up to $36.98 a share. That's $3.32 a share. We had Advance 6 for $27 a share. Now they've moved up to $29.96. That's $2.96 a share. We had Hershey Company at $196 a share. And the one stock to have taken a fall, Hershey Company is currently down to $186.44 a share. That's a drop of $9.56 a share. We had Prosperity Bank shares at $59.87 a share. Now they're at $67.73 a share. That's a fall of, or that's a increase of $7.86 a share. We had Cullen Frost Bankers at $99.21 a share. Now they're at $108.49 a share. That's an increase of $9.28 a share. We had Camden National Corporation 
at $34.73 a share. Now they're at $37.63 a share. That's an increase of $2.90 a share. We had Genuine Parts Company at $137.41 a share. Now they're at $138.50 a share. It's just a gain of $1.09 a share. We had United Parcel Service at $147.98 a share. Now they're at $157.23 a share. That's a gain of $9.25 a share. We had Telenova, which which spun off from Kellogg. We had them at $52.80 a share. They're currently at $55.91 a share. That's a gain of $3.11. We had Quest Diagnostics at $134.89 a share. They're now at $137.88 a share. That's a gain of $2.99 a share. We had McCormick at $66.36 a share. They're at $68.42 a share. That's a gain of $2.06 a share. We had LKQ Corporation at $45.53 a share. Now they're at $47.79 a share. That's a gain of $2.26 a share. We had Citigroup at $45.36 a share. Now they're at $51.44 a share. That's a gain of $6.08 a share. We had Enterprise Financial Services at $39.29 a share. Now they're at $44.65 a share. That's a gain of $5.36 a share. We had Medtronics. $74.76 a share. Now they're at $52.38 a share. That's a gain of $7.62 a share. We had AMN Help at $66.64 a share. Now they're at $74.88 a share. That's a gain of $8.24 a share. We had Oxford Industries at $94.53 a share. Now they're at $100 a share. That's a gain of $5.47 a share. We had Dorman Products at $71.27 a share. Now they're at $83.41 a share. That's a gain of $12.14 a share. We had U-Haul $55.46 a share. Now they're at $71.80 a share. That's a gain of $16.34 a share. We had Texas Instruments at $154.62 a share. Now they're at $170.46 a share. That's a gain of $15.84 a share. We had Diot Incorporated at $68.77 a share. Now they're at $80.52 a share. That's a gain of $11.75 a share. We had Henry Chine at $68.75 a share. 
Now they're at $6.96 a share, or $75.71 a share. That's a gain of $6.96 a share. And lastly, we had Pitsy Roll at $32.96 a share. They're currently at $33.24 a share, just to move up 28 cents a share. But in any event, those are the this week's winning stocks that we just suggested November 13th and where they had moved up to a little less than two months later at the end of December. So we hope you look for the this week's winning stocks in the upcoming months. Please subscribe, like the channel, look for the upcoming winning stocks for the upcoming weeks. And we analyze fundamentally sound stocks that are rising off of their 52-week low. Okay, guys. Have a great day and speak to you in the next video.